I want to talk about latent heat for a second. Um, we're going to just limit the discussion to water because uh, basically it's a very important part of our life and uh, we all have water in our bodies and we have an elaborate cooling system. Um, evaporation um, requires latent heat. Latent heat is a very high level of heat. It's required also to convert um, water to ice. It, it takes a lot of energy to, to make ice. It also releases a lot of energy. When ice melts, it releases a lot of, uh, it requires a lot of uh, heat to convert ice to liquid. You put a warm drink in ice um, and it melts the ice, the drink gets cool very quickly because the heat from the drink is absorbed into the ice to convert it to water. And when water is converted to a vapor, uh, it takes a very high level of heat to make that happen. If you have moisture on your skin and it evaporates, that heat has to come from something in order to convert that water to vapor. It comes from your skin. That's why the cooling system we have works so well. Um, if you have a high level of, of moisture in the boundary layer around your, your skin, that evaporation process can't take place. And, and the, the, um, cooling effect of that transfer of energy is not felt. So our fans do a very good job of moving that humid boundary layer away from your skin, allowing the moisture to be evaporated, absorbing that latent heat from your skin. It's a very high level of cooling that uh, works very well.